Are <laughs> anybody teaching you that you go down to hell? Oh, well, we're going to explain it. We're going to explain it, okay? Go ahead. First Thessalonians 4 and 14. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them which also, or even so them also which sleep in Jesus, will God bring with them. Them which sleep in Jesus are the ones that died. That are buried. Go ahead. Will God bring with him? Go ahead. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Dead. Go ahead. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. So that's where the dead's going to be. You got a question? You see that scripture? It's a good scripture you pulled in. Remember this guy laugh at talk about the chariots and, and laugh at? Right, right, right. When he said caught up in the clouds, caught up in the clouds, that, yeah. That, well, you know what? He wasn't going to get it. He wasn't going to get it. I, he think was, I say there are things you guys believe in you haven't seen. That's, that's what people call miracles. But, but you, you but don't you have to see have, something no, to no, believe. No, no, we actually that's saw. That's we your, actually, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. The key word is faith. Exactly. But I'm saying the chariots, the, 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 the uh, ships, we actually seen them ships many a times. Yeah. All right. I ask you, did you see Moses splitting the sea? Did you see well, Jesus yes, walking yes. the street? No, we, uh, yeah, the, we did see Moses split the sea. Yeah, no, we you did. You we read it in the book. No, 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 we were there. We were, we're actually there. there. Don't you know everything is reincarnated? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we were actually there. We were there. actually back. We were oh, back oh back you was back there. All of us were back there, man. Everything is reincarnated. I got, I got, I got. Everything is reincarnated. I got. I must be allowed to read this. But you know what? You, but you know what? But you was, but but you were on this world. It could have been a hundred years ago. That's a Hindu belief. No, no, it's a factual. It's, 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 a, it's a fact. It's a fact. Everything is reincarnated. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Is reincarnation in the word? Of course. Yeah, of course. We're yeah. gonna give you some examples. You, um, you you know the word. You know the Bible pretty much, right? Okay. You ever heard about John the Baptist? Okay. Good. Keep that in mind. All right. I got it right I want you to give me um Matthew's the 11th chapter, and then as a backup to that, uh, Matthew's the 11th chapter. And then there's one in Matthew's uh, 14, I think it's 17, 17, yeah. Uh, give me Matthew's 11 and uh, start at the, uh, uh, start at the, uh, yeah, start at the 12 first. Matthew's chapter 11, verse 12. And from the days of John the Baptist. And you got to get, uh, you got to get, my, what you got? And get, um, um, uh, no, not Luke, uh, the last, uh, um, Malachi, Malachi, get Malachi, all right, go ahead. From, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence. Go ahead. And the violent take it by force. For all the prophets and the law... Let's jump back and let's break it down. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence. This is the Lord speaking. This is Christ speaking, right? Read again. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence so he's talking about his time because uh john the baptist was jesus cousin yeah john the baptist was about six months older than jesus christ all right go ahead and, and from the days of john the baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence now what does that mean when it says the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence Israel. Thank you, so thank you. But you know what the churches think? There was war up in heaven. <laughs> hey, because when you think of the kingdom of heaven, you think of heaven, right? You think of in that spiritual realm, right? So the Lord is saying from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven <laughs> suffereth violence. That means the Lord was off his throne with a sword, man. Yeah. There goes a demon, get that demon. Yep. That means Michael was headlocking people. Come on, man, that wasn't happening. <laughs> the kingdom of heaven is talking about the nation of Israel. What's the proof on that? Matthew, well, Matthew 17. I'm sorry, Luke 17. Luke 17. Right, starting from the 20th verse. He called it, he called it. See the brother out there? Call Go ahead. Luke 17 and 20. And when he had, and when he was demanded of the Pharisees. This is, this is the Pharisees and the scribe talking to the Lord. Go ahead. When the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and yeah, said. What, look, when is the kingdom of God going to come? 
So this is what he can't reply back to. Go ahead. He answered them and said, the kingdom of God cometh not with observation. Neither shall they say, lo here or lo there. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. So what is it? So the scribes and the Pharisees were what? They were Israelites, right? That's right. So he said, the kingdom of God is within you. So who is the kingdom of God? Israel. Israelites. Nobody right. else. Israelites. So how, how come they didn't know that they are the kingdom of God? Because they wasn't up on things. They were, they were blind. They wasn't up on things, man. That's why the, the, the Lord, man, he knew everything. All right? Go ahead. Right. It says, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven, the Israelites, go ahead, suffereth violence. Suffereth violence. Now, what was happening at the time when the Lord was walking the earth? The Romans were over them, all right? Persecuting them. The Romans were persecuting them, all right? Yep. The Romans the Romans made a, a Jerusalem and Israel a, a provinces of Rome. That's why when they paid taxes, Jesus had an argument and said, look, uh, uh, the, the disciples said this, right? The disciples said, look, why we got to give the Romans taxes? So he said, look, give me one of them coins. What's on the coin? He said, Caesar's uh, inscription and picture and image. So he said, give, run down to Caesar what is Caesar and to the Lord what is the Lord. So if this is Caesar's money, you got to give it back. You got to give some of, it, some of it back in the form of a tax. All right? Go ahead. Right. And it said it. And from the days right under the Romans. Go ahead. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven, the nation of Israel, suffereth violence. Suffereth violence. Go ahead. And the violent. And the, who, who are the violent? The Romans. Those are the violent. Those are the ones that were actually committing the violence. The Romans. Go ahead. And the violent take it by force. How was Israel taken over? By force. By who? By the Romans. Go ahead. So the Romans For, white? Of course the Romans were white. white. Yeah. Yep. Now later in history you had Israelites that became generals and captains and uh, uh, centurions which are officers of 100. After Jesus. Yeah, yeah, after Jesus. Paul, right. Paul, he had Roman Paul, Paul had Roman, the Apostle Paul, Paul had Roman Jesus. citizenship. Go ahead. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. And until it, John, which is John the Baptist. Go ahead. And if you will receive it, and this is the Lord speaking. If you will receive this, go ahead. This is Elias. This talking about John <laughs> is Elijah, oh. which was for to come. Which was for to come. Mm. Now I want you to go to Malachi. Malachi. That's reincarnation Malachi. right there. That's reincarnation. Go ahead. Malachi right. four and four. I'm sorry, five. Uh, verse five. Behold, I will send you. This is the last book in the, last, uh, book in the Old Testament. All right. Go ahead. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet. Now Elijah goes back. What, what this is BC? BC, right? This is what this is. But this was uh, Malachi. Elijah went back during the time of. Uh, during the time uh, of kings. Thousand, about yeah, about a thousand years. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we can give you the exact, and we can look it up. But about a thousand years, nine hundred years, eight hundred years, Elijah was walking the earth. So this is what Malachi the prophet said. Go ahead. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Go ahead. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers. Go ahead. Least I come and smite the earth with a curse. Right. The least mean before I come and smite the earth with a curse. So the fulfillment of that is this. No, let's go back to what we read in uh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, Matthew, Matthew's 11. 11. Okay, Matthew's 11. 11 and 14. And if you remember, Malachi made a prophecy. A prophecy is when he says something's going to happen. It's going to happen. It could be uh, two two days from now. It could be it could be a week from now. It could be ten years from now. It could be a thousand years. Go ahead. For all the prophets in the law prophesied until John. And if you will receive it, if you will understand it. Go ahead. This is Elijah. This is Elijah. So he, in other words, he was breaking down. In Malachi, how Elijah is going to come back. John is Elijah coming back. Carnation. I got you. Okay, go ahead. And if you will receive it, this is Elijah, which was for to come.